Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Nearly two dozen proposals to change Florida's gun laws were filed before the Las Vegas tragedy, which is sure to play a role in the debates over proposals on both sides of the aisle. Professor Emeritus of Criminology at Florida State University Gary Kleck says these conversations are sparked after every mass shooting to a predictable outcome. There is intensified support for gun control, which passes after a few weeks, or on rarer occasions, it results in unproductive kinds of gun control measures. After the Pulse nightclub shooting last year, State Senator Linda Stewart proposed legislation to ban assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition clips, but the proposal fell on deaf ears. No committee heard the legislation. Now, she's trying again. We can't determine what somebody's going to do in advance of when they do it, but having these particular weapons that we see used time and time again is not going to help things at all. Instead of focusing on mass killings, criminologists say the real issue is addressing the more common gun violence in the United States. That kind of mass shooting accounts for less than a fraction of 1% of all the gun murders in the country. For starters, Kleck suggests universal background checks, part of which should include access to mental health records. Certainly a lot of the people who engage in this sort of mass murder are mentally ill. Of the three bills proposed for the 2018 session to restrict gun laws, none address universal background checks or mental health screening for gun purchasers. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.